Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, this might be a bad idea. I probably should not be filming outside because it's windy as fuck. It's a little chilly too, but I'm on my mini vacation and we about to talk about it. Oh shit, hold on. I left Texas. I am done with my assignment there. I will speak more on Texas on my next vlog when I arrive to my new state. But in the meantime, I had to go out with a bang. So me and my five coworkers, we went out for the last time. I wanted to check off something off my bucket list and that was the party bike. You know, it's a bar on wheels pretty much where you have to pedal. You don't have to pedal. <laughs> it's a motored vehicle, guys. I don't know why they thought we could all fit in my Jeep, but we tried. I started off the car. There you go. There you go. Right there. There you go. Right there. I do not know this. I do not know this. Since our group got there first, we got to pick the music and we were jamming. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying. No, I'm saying. I'm a song. <laughs> the dusty hole! <laughs> want the dirt to fly in my eyes guys i noticed the second group which was like a bachelorette party they were kind of down i don't know the energy just wasn't it so we try to make them have a better time which is why we played this song ice, ice, baby. Let's go. Ice, ice, baby. well this party bike was also a pub crawl so we stopped at three different bars and of course we had to take a shot in each one kind of ended early because I ended up forcing myself to <clears throat> once I left Texas I drove all the way to New Mexico I am in the middle of Albuquerque and Santa Fe this town is called not Madrid it's actually pronounced Madrid this is a small little town like really really small in the middle of the mountains can you see one of the mountains back there <laughs> there were lead mines around Madrid which is what brought people here the coal mining began in the area around 1835 this is when they built their cabins which is what Madrid is now today. These cabins still exist. They are still standing. They're no longer resided by coal miners. They're resided by artists. These cabins turned into shops. They're filled with many art pieces, sculptures, paintings, jewelry. This small town has a population of only 204 people in the 2010 census, literally. So I think I've met or come across all the residents here in the last two days. I had to stop at the most popular tavern, which is the Mine Shaft. They had live music, I ain't gonna lie to you. The talent was limited, but hey, when you have such a small population, the next Whitney Houston ain't gonna live here, okay? Let me wash my damn hands. I ate before I got here, but I'm still gonna try their their special margarita, so I guess it's well known here. And you know, whatever is well known, I gotta try out, you know what I'm saying? Kiss me, you want some? <laughs> you want some? This ain't for you, dog. It has tequila, of course. It has cucumbers, uh, lime. It's got something else. And on the ring, it's actually chili. 
which is Chili's what's really well known here. So I'm gonna tell you, this is a special and it's for a good reason. It's really good. This is the outside of the tavern. <laughs> Gizmo got to finally walk around because in Texas it was too motherfucking hot. Look at this. Okay. This ain't flat. I came from down there, so. Gizmo, you ready to go eat? Let's go eat. Let's go find us a restaurant. Everything's walking distance from where I'm at. I just need to find a restaurant because I am super hungry. Okay, which way do we go? That way or that way? <laughs> Yeah, he prances a little bit. <laughs> He's got a little prance to him. <laughs> so the only problem that I come across being a traveler is that I cannot buy things. I cannot buy souvenirs. I cannot support small businesses like these. And it's only because I am a minimalist. I'm living on the road, so I can't take everything with me. I wish I could. it in until <laughs> jeez and the following day i went 30 minutes down the street to a museum this was a special museum guys 8 32 a.m i'm low in gas as you can see right there thank god i have a jeep though the nearest gas station is 15 minutes away oh child do not scratch my side of my truck please can y'all hear that those little rocks popping off from off my tire yeah, my, my Jeep's going in the car wash as soon as I get to the state that my assignment's at. We did it. I almost filled up my tank. It's all right. Got myself some munchies. Uh, gizmos in the back. <laughs> I probably won't be able to get in to even order, huh? You want me to hold them? Yeah, yeah can you? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I wanted to go to Java, but dogs weren't allowed out there, so I'm like, ah. Oh. Thank you. You can trust the people here, guys. Trust me. I wouldn't just leave my dog with anybody. Cute little shop here. They got jewelry, too. Um, breakfast burrito. Yeah, I'll just do coffee with cream and sugar. <laughs> Sorry. No. Oh, you do not apologize. We have made your dog people. Thank you what? so much. Oh, gosh. No, it's our honor to checked out his name, Gizmo. Yes, that's his name, Gizmo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My baby. I don't know exactly what's in it. It just looked good. Okay, so the interesting thing about this museum is that it reminds me of Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Remember those puppets, those, what do you call it, musketeers? or <laughs> They're called something. But this museum is got, it's full of them. Oh, how awesome is this? Uh, I told you guys, this reminds me of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. All right, so it's a quarter for each one to play, and you know I'm about to play every single one of them. Got my quarter right here. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, these are bottles, guys. These are bottles. I know it's weird. But this is the type of stuff I like. You guys know that I like small things. I like small miniature items. Like I have my little homies. I have uh, the trolls. Listen, I just love it all. Here we go. Let's see what this is. Look at her use that axe. Go ahead, girl. Who said you need a man? Look at him being lazy. Uh-uh. Him being lazy too. What the hell are y'all doing while she's working hard? Booty. Grandma's fortune telling parlor. Ooh. We're about to get into 1940. Come on, Grandma. You better tell me the truth now. I know who you is. You Grandma. And you about to tell me my future. Take myself out another quarter. What, well, girl? What you got in there? What you got? Tell me you got me a, a beautiful looking woman, you know, that I'm about to marry soon. 
You know, she's gonna be faithful, loyal, honest, all that stuff. You gonna tell me something? Grandma, what's your name? Uh uh, she didn't even tell me nothing. Typical fortune teller. Don't tell me shit about shit. She got that love potion though. You could have at least told me that. Thanks for nothing, Grandma. Okay, so yes, I want to go to the western town. That's the exit. Okay, that's the entrance. All right. This is 1962. Oh my gosh. I'm in heaven right now. Can y'all even see me right now? Like, this is crazy. <laughs> I like this shit. Oh, look, guys, look what I'm seeing right now. Oh my goodness, uh, all this, all miniature stuff. Y'all will never understand me. Y'all will never understand me. I'm not meant to be understood. This is a general store. Ooh, they are some hoarders though, I'm not gonna lie to you. Something about them looks suspicious. I don't think they're married. I think that's his mistress. Look at her, she's all decked up with a whole bunch of shit. And look at him looking bummy as fuck. You know for damn sure that ain't his wife. He's spending all his money on this woman. They don't give a fuck about him. She is your sugar baby, uh-uh. Go ahead and waste your money, go broke for her. There's his wife right there, I found her. But look what the fuck she's doing. She's fucking around too, look at him in the back with his pants off. Wow, you is a hoe. I need my shoe shine too. And I need to be groomed. Look at this guy over here, taking a bath. <laughs> Yo, I'm loving this so much. His ass is getting drunk as fuck in the middle though. His girl's already pissed off because she's, he's already past the limit and she's telling him to stop. He ain't listening though. Can't tell these guys nothing. Oh, Soul Flame, I found your pet snake. If y'all don't know who Soul Flame is, she's one of my supporters. I found your snake girl. I think he's hungry, I think he wants another fish. They have the natives working on the rugs and the pottery while these white folks are making money off of them. How are they gonna put Pocahontas in the middle of his damn thing? Uh-uh. All right, y'all did too much with this one. I wanna order two tamales, red please. If you have green, I'll guess I'll get one green, so two reds, one green please. I've never seen anyone jump rope like that in my life. Dang, why is you so angry though? What did this customer do to you? He done got too drunk, fell down the stairs and broke his arm. See what happens, and he's still at the bar drinking beer. What's wrong with you? Oh, I'm telling you, men cannot be monogamous. They are meant to fuck around. Mm-hmm. That's wifey right there. Mm-hmm. She, she don't caught you. When you get pregnant by your man at such an early age, you only 15, he's like 35, you ain't got no choice but to get married because your mom and daddy said so. Especially yo daddy with that gun. You see that shit? There is so much to look at. Yeah, okay, I found me something scary here. It's it's a little bit more dark and it is two quarters. So let me go ahead and dip into my pocket. Ooh, child. That's us being torn apart, not knowing what to do in life. While these motherfuckers down here are having a good time. Listen, if hell is like that. I mean, I see nothing wrong with going to hell. I mean, she. All right, so I gotta shake your motherfucking hand. Listen, you better not have COVID. I'm gonna risk it, here we go. That's it. I'm an expert on everything. I could have been told you that. I mean, haven't I proven myself right many times on my YouTube channel? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, gather down, gather round, step in closer to this massive platform of the circus. I mean, listen, some of us like a little thickums, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind it. The monkey girl. Ooh. Okay, the alligator man. Who is you, the giant? Okay. So you considered a freak because you got tattoos on you? Oh my god, let me not show my face. Oh, look at these clowns. I love these. What do you guys call these? Hobos or something? I've always liked this style. Holy shit. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look how big this circus is. We got the tigers over there. They got the dogs jumping through hoops backwards. <laughs> Louis Melanieu Circus Giant. Wow, those are his actual shoes. Look how big his shoes are. He, he was a size 22. Let me see. God damn. God damn. 
Wow, these are actual dolls, guys. Ooh, 25 cents. You know, I don't do it just for my own entertainment. I also do it to support, so let's go ahead. be out here huh all right instructions the greatest mistake we make is to neglect what is possible while brooding over what is difficult Ooh, child i'm taking that one with me okay listen when it tells me to look i'm gonna look look at what i don't get what i'm looking at so i guess a man by ross ward carved the western town oh he's the one that did this western town thing i think they recreated his studio. Oh, so inside. Oh, okay. It's the whole room. That's how his studio looked like. While he was creating this. Wow, pretty cool. What this is? Oh, the kid's guest book. Leave a message in a bottle. Why did the kids got to do it? How come I can't? Oh. And there's actually messages in there, guys. Look. I want to do it too, so call me a kid, okay? I am a child. Okay, this is what I wrote. Ross Ward was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, early onset Alzheimer's. He's the one that, that created this? Oh, he's a creative genius. Wow. He and his wife put it together, and, but he's the genius, right? Anyway, he, he died of early onset Alzheimer's and when his wife had to take the keys away, they gave him the car to to make his last art effort. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that is beautiful. So it's over that way? It is. Oh my gosh. Thank you for telling me. Yeah. I'm going to go check it out. So this is the car that she's speaking of. This car right here was his last artwork. I mean, come on, guys. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Even with Alzheimer's, you still can create art. It's in you. It's just in you. Live life as the pursuit of happiness. Guys, if this was not meant to be, don't know what to tell you. This place is hidden and I found it. I'm in my happy place. The artist of Tinkertown, he passed away from early Alzheimer's, so this is his artwork, you guys. This is his masterpiece. This whole town is his masterpiece. It's amazing. I can't believe this. Like, <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Come on now. Okay, let's go up here. I appreciate the work he put into this, man. I. I think that was actually my highlight of my trip here in Madrid. I did make plans to go to Albuquerque, but I decided last minute to just relax a little bit. But I did go to Santa Fe. This is Gizmo's outfit of the day. Looking nice, okay. Got a little Harvey Davidson, you know what I'm saying? Good boy, oh. Gizmo always does this when I come to the car. Y'all see him? He feels like every time he comes to the car, he's either going to the vet or to get groomed or spend hours and hours and hours in the car which is realistic i mean i don't blame the guy but not today it's only it's only 45 minutes to get to santa fe hello gizmo you ready let's go come on <laughs> i'm gonna have to grab his ass and already i noticed that santa fe is a city 
Not your typical city though. Listen, I'm from Chicago. Chicago is all the big lights, the buildings, and all that good stuff. This city was different. It still felt like a small town. All the buildings look alike, but you know it's the city when they have all the franchises there. You know, they had their McDonald's, their Chick-fil-A, their Taco Bell, same old, same old stuff, which I was not interested in. But I did go to the Santa Fe Plaza. That area is actually the National Historic Landmark in downtown Santa Fe. It's in the style of traditional Spanish-American colonial cities. So you can tell how everything's built. The plaza is the center gathering place in town. So it's got a small park in the center of it all, shopping, restaurants. Let me tell you though, that restaurant I went to, it hit the spot. Unfortunately, I was not here while they threw festivals, they're called fiestas. Natives from different tribes come to the center and they actually show us their culture, which includes their music and their dance. But there was no events being held while I was here. Ugh. I find it very interesting that New Mexico is right next to Texas, yet Texas don't give a fuck about this whole mask thing. They don't care, they don't give a fuck about COVID. But in New Mexico, they give a fuck, yo. Like literally every store, it says mask required. They don't care if you've been vaccinated or not. You need to wear a motherfucking mask, okay? Ain't nobody trying to catch COVID here. New Mexico is Texas's sister state, so very interesting. Maybe it's like that little sibling rivalry type shit. Right across the road from me is actually Maggie's Diner. Y'all might recognize this place. It's actually from the movie Wild Hogs. They turned it into a Wild Hogs merchandise shop. I ain't no big movie buff, but listen, I want to say that I was there, so here I come. There's not that many abandoned homes here. This is one of them though, so I wonder who is willing to invest into making this something. You, there's money here guys, especially on the weekend. People do come here from across the country just to see this place. So whoever is willing to invest, y'all go ahead. I ran out of batteries and I need these batteries for my uh, camera. So this is the town's general store. It's called Old Boarding House Mercantile. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but I guess this is where I'm gonna get my batteries. Hello. Hello. So this is where I get my items. I was looking for this. And it's only four minutes walking distance from where I'm at. So it's actually perfect. Cute, cute. Aww. Yeah, everything you need. I found this store a little too late. <laughs> I've been buying food every day. I should have came here, but I'm on my last day, so I'm just gonna come and get batteries. What's up? Hey, What's how you up? doing? <laughs> Hi. Can I get, they told me to come up here for batteries. Okay, I've been wanting to come here, but I haven't been able to because I couldn't bring Gizmo here. As you can see, let's get something to eat. Um, well, something that might fill me up is probably this burrito. Mm -hmm. It's a black bean burrito with green chili and cheese. Okay, I'll get that. You want me to warm it up? Um, no, I'm gonna warm it up later at home. And, and I'll get uh, that pumpkin pie as well. Yeah, my glasses broke yesterday, so I'm like, ah, yeah. I have contacts, but I don't want to put them on. 
my allergies are messing with me. Well, we're gonna have to get something for Gizmo. Look at this. I honestly feel like I'm a local. <laughs> Strolling down the road to the local shop just to get my little snack, you know, for the day. Gotta go home to my barking dog who hates being alone. I can't leave for a few minutes. I'm already limited. There's some places I haven't even been inside because I can't bring you in. That is his meal. Oh my God, this looks good, Gizmo. I think I'm gonna take it. Can I have it? Oh, the cutest ever. I always share with you. You don't wanna share with me? All right, I cut it up for you. You don't have to eat all this, okay? Just relax, don't choke on it, okay? Eat calmly. <laughs> Damn. Did I say calmly? Wait a second, I forgot to show you where I'm staying at. I'm actually staying at a tiny house, and I can vibe with it. But there's a couple things I'm a little unsure about, but hey, let me show you around. Here we go. I rented out a tiny house in the middle of nowhere. Cute little cozy spot. I love this place. I definitely recommend for you guys to come stay here. It had everything I needed, a fan, I had a little toaster oven. Not a microwave, but it's all right, you know, things to cook with which I'm not gonna use anyways. There's an AC unit, but I wasn't gonna use it because it was chilly while I was here. Got all the items I needed, including water. And this is the sink that I use to wash my dishes, to brush my teeth. You gotta pump this with your foot and water comes out just like that. Got me a little fridge, you know what I'm saying? Got me a coffee maker. Got a little table that I can eat on, and that's Gizmo, of course. Got a propane heater, because it does get chilly at nighttime. Got me a little desk. And I also have a bed warmer. And let's go outside, guys. Okay, so here we got a little table to sit at, just to chill and enjoy the view. Look at this, beautiful. So let's come up here and I'm going to show you the outside bathroom. You heard me. An outside potty. That's where I had to go in the middle of the night too. They do have a public restroom that I can go to as well. Alright, and I do shower outside. Yes. <laughs> Obviously I'm not going to show you my body while I'm showering. But I did find out a way how to do this. Basically, you just turn this lever from top to bottom just like that and it just runs the water. So basically, I sat down there. She provided me with shampoo and all that good stuff. Bye. Hi, baby. Good morning. How you doing today? You enjoying your day? I already filled this bucket up, so I'm gonna have to throw this shit out. All right, guys, that was that. I am going to end the vlog here. Tell me what you thought about this vlog. I enjoy filming guys. I enjoy editing these videos the most. I wish I had more views on it. I wish you guys would share it more because I put a lot of my life on here for you. And I put a lot of my creativity into it as well. So if you guys wanna support my journey, please share my videos. Please talk to people about my channel, Bliss Uncensored. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next vlog. Peace.